Hey, it's Nick, live from the backyard. And uh, this is going to be an odd one, because I'm, uh, well, not exactly odd, but I'm combining a few different things. Um, <clears throat> to start off with, uh, one of the main things that I'm talking about today is um, uh, gaming with systems like the Raspberry Pi, the MK802, the Z802, and the Cotton Candy, and probably just about any uh, tablet, computer, um, anything that's running an ARM architecture um, uh, CPU. Uh, and uh, what uh, the main point here is that I'm going to make is that uh, with these systems, they all use a subset of OpenGL called OpenGL ES. And ES stands for Embedded Systems, I believe. And um, so one of the things that everybody has to keep in mind uh, uh, if you're going to go, because like uh, one of the systems, um, I'm not sure what the cotton candy comes with, but I do know that the MK802 and the Z802 both come with uh, Android. Uh, and there's already builds for like quite a few games on that, but it, uh, you know, like uh, Quake 3, that's like one of the questions that I got um, from Ted on my last uh, technology video about the MK and the Z. <clears throat> and uh, it, it's basically the, the exact same problem that all the other systems have, and that's the fact that it's not regular OpenGL, it's OpenGL ES. And, uh, but uh, if you stick with the Android stuff, there's already going to be builds of, uh, of quite a few games, like Quake 3. Um, and if you want to, um, sorry, there's some squirrels running around and they're distracting me. Um, if you want to go to a full-fledged Linux operating system, and like say an Ubuntu or something, um, uh, you are going to have to depend on the community at large, uh, either one, uh, making patches for you for these games so that they can uh, work on the OpenGL ES uh, subset of OpenGL, or you might have to hack on it yourself to get it running. Uh, I do know that although that's something you'd have to do to run the games natively. And hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause for a second because I'm trying to combine stuff in this vlog, <clears throat> and that's because um, I also do green tech stuff, and that includes gardening and stuff. And I've got um, I think that might be a weed, but uh, I've got a few plants coming up. Oh, where is one of them? Now they're kind of hard to spot. And you kind of got to wait for a little while to let them grow up until you know if they're uh, weeds or not. But I've got a few little sprouts here and there. There's something there. There's something there and there. Something out there. Something over there. Uh, some of this stuff might be weeds. I gotta let it grow a little bit and find out. Oh, there's something right there. I know that's not a weed. Oh. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's not a weed. Uh, yeah, I got some stuff sprouting up. But, as I was saying, um, you're going to have to get some of those things patched uh, to get things uh, working natively. Um, although, there have already been people, tons of people, who've uh, put uh, Linux on different tablet systems and such. Full-fledged Linux. Uh, what I'm saying is like an Ubuntu or something like that. <clears throat> uh, you know, something besides uh, the Android operating system. But I do realize that it's Linux-based. Um, but uh, you, there have already been tons of people who have uh, run lots of games through wine. Uh, so that's always a possibility, is to go with wine. So for, oh, and here, I took down a bush there. Look at all that stuff in my pile. And uh, so uh, there's already been tons of people who have done these things. Eh, the sun's back there, so I'll tell you either way. Uh, there's already been tons of people who've done that with wine. So you've got a few different choices. You can stick to Android. 
uh, and there will already be like builds and stuff of stuff like like Quake 3 people have already worked on that uh, and you know tons of other games that come along with the the whole droid thing here's another bush that I took down this one I really need to root that up so um, yeah you're gonna have to stick with droid uh, run your games through wine which I've seen Quake 3 running through wine on an N900 uh, I think that's made by Nokia and uh, through wine and it looked pretty good it, it seemed to run perfectly fine here's what I'm up to up front I took down my evergreen bushes and I uprooted them and I've been tilling this stuff by hand here I need to finish tilling all this and then you know I haven't even started here but I did get the roots up and then there was a couple of little trees here that I took down so I still got this big one it needs to come down eventually it's too close to the foundation so uh, yeah I saw it on the N900 on wine and it seemed to run pretty good and uh, I think uh, with the exception of the Raspberry Pi all the rest of the, the uh, systems have uh, a faster processor than the N900 uh, so it should probably work pretty good through wine a, a lot of you know like a little bit older games you know some of the newer stuff out there that requires a lot more power will probably need um, uh, you know to run natively or something to work well so yeah that's uh, that's what uh, gonna have to do and uh, the one exception would probably be the cotton candy but that's uh, I believe the most expensive of all of them because uh, if I am correct I do believe that the cotton candy has a quad core 1.2 gigahertz CPU so there's a lot of power under the hood there so you'll probably be able to do a lot of stuff but it as well it isn't full OpenGL compliant it just like the other systems is OpenGL ES so you know you're gonna run into those some same problems either gonna have to go with Android operating system run games through wine which is Quake 3 like I said I've seen it run perfectly fine on an N900 um, or go native and you'll have to depend on the community to create patches so that uh, the OpenGL ES um, system uh, will, you know, enable the, uh, the the game to happen. Whatever. I'm not much of a technical guy. I just looked up all this information so that there's a central place for you guys to, you know, have a jumping-off point to where you can, you know, find out some stuff about gaming. Um, so yeah, OpenGL ES is what all those systems run on so uh, yeah seek out that stuff seek out some patches hack on it yourself to uh, run it natively in a full-fledged Linux operating system or run it through wine or stick with the Android operating system and a lot of the games that have already been built uh, for that um, and uh, so I'm gonna go back to a little bit of my green tech stuff so I told you I, I took down those bushes and trees and stuff I got some sprouts coming up Got a big old bunch of stuff back there that I'm just going to let dry for a long time and eventually that'll get used for fuel to cook at night. As everybody knows, I use a uh, Fresnel lens uh, solar cooker for a lot of my cooking. And uh, the that's what the Fresnel lens sits in. The Fresnel lens sits inside my house. So just in case a storm comes through and knocks over this thing, I don't want the Fresnel lens sitting outside in the sun and end up catching something on fire certainly during the month of July because I'm doing a film in July and I won't be here very often so if a storm came through it'd be a bad thing to have that uh, lens outside in that shed which I mean it's sturdy but if a really big storm came through it could be bad news but one of the other things that I was up to last night uh, it's Memorial Day time here in the US um, so a lot of like uh, barbecue type stuff is uh, on sale chicken was on sale I don't eat meat very often except for whenever it's a really good sale and the uh, chicken breasts were a buck 19 a pound so I came out here with the axe chopped up a little bit of wood 
And uh, last night I had myself a nice little barbecue. I uh, wrapped up uh, some potatoes and chicken <coughs> in uh, cabbage leaves and uh, put them out there to cook. And uh, I marinated the chicken really good in some and some beer and water and vinegar and some spices and stuff and it came out really good and uh, I also topped it with uh, this mixture of a bunch of uh, vegetables that I fried up um, the day before yesterday because at the auction on Tuesday I bought a whole bunch of vegetables for really cheap nice you know locally grown produce and uh, you know I got it way cheaper than I can get it at the store and it's you know fresh so that was really good. I got like uh, I got the cabbage and I got uh, watermelon radishes. I got regular radishes and some broccoli. And uh, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. <clears throat> but I fried it all up with uh, some onions and potatoes that I have here at the house, and um, it turned out really good. But I used that as a on top of the uh, uh, the chicken and ooh, oh, and jalapenos in it too, and that uh, fried up mass of stuff that I made. It was nice and spicy thanks to the radishes and the, the jalapenos and the onions and stuff. So put that on top of that chicken and it was mm -mm good. But uh, it's a real good, uh, you know, lots of people uh, take their yard waste and they just burn it in a big pile. Uh, when, you know, instead of doing that, if you, you know, use a little cooker, you know, you can use that stuff and save some you know, do do the green thing and uh, save some green. You know, I didn't have to turn on the stove or the oven or anything, and you know that stuff. Instead of burning in a burn pile, it uh, supplied me with heat to cook with at night. You know, because during the day I can just use my solar cooker, and I use it in this area here. But uh, yeah, why not uh, use some of those twigs and pieces of uh, wood and stuff for uh, cooking instead of. Uh, just uh, burning it and letting all that stuff out into the atmosphere for no reason at all. At least uh, have it be useful. So, yeah. So I'm going to let you guys go. This is a 12 and a half minute video. Uh, good luck with uh, gaming with the uh, different ARM architecture uh, CPU systems. Um, you know, to uh, reiterate, if somebody is just skipping to the end of the video, um, if you're going to a full-fledged Linux operating system outside of Android operating system, um, you're going to have to, to run natively. You're going to have to patch the system so that it can work with OpenGL ES if it's an OpenGL game. Um, you're going to have to run Wine. Uh, to emulate the operating system, even though I know Wine is not an emulator. <laughs> wine. Uh, but, you know, to, to run some of those Windows games, you can, uh, you know, go through Wine. And I've seen on the N900 uh, somebody running Quake 3 through Wine, and it ran pretty good. So for the Raspberry Pi, the MK802, the Z802, or um, Cotton Candy. I'm not sure if I said that right. But for those, that's that's your options uh, in Linux. For native, you'll have to get a patch from the community, hack on it yourself, or run it through Wine. And um, one of your other options is to uh, run the Android operating system, and there'll already be, you know, there's still, you know, there's already lots of games for that system that will already run. So yeah. Because all the ARM architecture, all these small computers are all using um, ARM architecture CPUs, which use OpenGL ES, which is a subset of OpenGL, and the ES stands for Embedded Systems. So, yeah. So, I'm going to let you guys go work on my garden. I got some nice some sprouts coming up here and there, so I'm really happy about that. So, I'm going to let you go and water my garden and work on taking up some roots and stuff. So, in the words of my favorite YouTube musical artist, the ukulele, push the button.